Welcome to a new Let's Play with Summer Farm Estates. Instead of the potatoes, more and more so as the days come on when you can't lift the potatoes. This little tractor only about what is 110 horse and it powers this Gavirlin drill very nicely. If we have sugar beet, you can harvest them when it's when it's wet out. So uh, yeah, we think that's what we're going to do going forward. <coughs> Excuse me. But yeah, this tractor working well so far. We power our road this field with it. We. A lot of the field after we've got shut of the cultivator, put the power arrow on. May buy an old arrow to arrow the sugar beet land down. And we are still looking to expand the farm a little and buy some more land. forward which in turn will boost the income up even more on the farm so far. So, not sure what combine we will have to replace the Massa Ferguson when we do replace it. The 135 is still over at the main workshop on the in the area, the main dealer. It's booked in for a respray. Although they are pretty busy at the moment with 
people's drills and potato harvesters and sugar beet harvesters so we haven't got time to get round to it at the moment but we're not in any rush for it. thinking because there's still no drying in the air at all. But, uh, yeah, it's not the biggest of drills this air seeder but it is working pretty well. A little more reliable than our old drill that we had before. fertilizer on next spring we we'll put fertilizer on now so next spring we will top the fertilizer up spray the weeds and boost our yields going forward Farm states told us this should have been going out Thursday, but it's going out Friday because they had things to do, shopping and stuff like that, so they didn't have time to put it up. I think we can now also turn the lights off. Lighting up in the field without the lights. It is nine o'clock in the morning after all, so. Uh, Should get this all finished drilling today. Once we leave you, we, as always, will work until we work the day out. away on the back instead of just clatter clatter like the old one. You can hear the pan spinning. It has got a pan that's driven by the PTO to blow the seed in. And we've still got a quarter of a cent. 47% of our seed left, so we're okay yet for another round. Away we go again. Let's drill at a fair old speed as well. This nine miles an hour, getting these, this field of rape in next field along, which is a potato field, is going to be the winter wheat, and if we get any new land, then that will also be winter wheat and oil seed grape most probably, see what's what going forward. The field over there is going to be sugar beet, we've got the tractor and the plough over there ready but we'll get this whole seed rape in first. We can do a bit of winter ploughing. As we go forward. Could have spent a bit more money and had the ridge markers put on it. But decided against that, possibly 
not the right decision to make, but... We'll see how it all pans out going forward. We will... On the first day of winter, we've got to pay back the first of the money that we borrowed. And hopefully be able to buy some more land going forward. We did clear all the debts on the farm that accumulated as grandfather was running the farm down towards the end. But the bank kindly said we could borrow some more land to more money, sorry, to get a bit of better equipment on the farm and hopefully expand. Back to what we used to be, it's still 42% of seed. It doesn't use a lot of seed to say seed, especially on our seed rape, which is one good thing about it. when we put the drone up it doesn't do a massive breed at a time but it's working pretty well hopefully it will all germinate well it is fertilised enough to Get us through the winter. A bit dark still in where these trees are, especially when you're out on the drone and looking down upon the field. Traffic down on the bottom road there. We call it the bottom road, not sure what the road's actually called, but we call it the bottom road. One more of the longer breeds to get done. potato crop so I think the potato harvester will go back to the dealership today we shall plough the potatoes in give it a power arrow and put our winter wheat in longest rows we've got. We'll get into the shorter rows and then we'll soon be uh, getting things done. Should get this oilseed rope finished. I think you can't hear that bleeping in the background. That's friend trying to Skype me and I can't talk lots and driving the tractor so they can wait until we finish work today and I'll ring them back you know who it is so no problem there it's 
structure. really gone for the ridge markers on this we might go back over to the workshop get some put on it would make it easier to follow we were thinking on terms of saving money but yeah, I think 35% of our seed left We'll carry on. Now quickly getting towards the other side of the field. A bit of news that some of Palmer State's founders tell that their Stone Valley series has come to an end. They got to early autumn and the wheat crop was still at the first month stage, so. Uh, working out nicely. finished recording today and may see if we can get some more land uh, put some more seed rape and winter wheat in that and leave the potato crop in a little bit longer and see if we can get any more up don't want to waste more than we're forced to be able to get it sorted. As long as we can get the, all the crops drilled and overwintered, that would be good. May end up with a few patches and get frost damage or something similar, but uh, Now I'm very close to the end <coughs> of today's episode.
tractors we've got on the farm now much more suited I think to the area we've got so we missed with the cultivator which isn't going to seed properly it will blow seed in but I think it will be too close to the top and the birds will have it sometime during the day we can get some harvested off screen it's trouble with these wettish winters you can't get although it is drying now so we may get some potatoes lifted today later on but for now that is where we are going to leave you hope you enjoyed this vlog drilling the oil seed rate please give us a like give us a share drop us a comment if you are new to some of our estates and you'd like to see more of the work they do please subscribe to the channel Give that bell a ring, it will tell you when content is uploaded until you join us next time. I have been Patrick, thank you to Summer Farm State for allowing me on their channel. Thank you for watching, enjoy the rest of your day, stay safe guys and goodbye for now.